Hello Aries, it's time to look at your love lives November 15th through November 30th, 2018. This is for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Aries. As always, it's a general love reading. It may or may not resonate. If it does, please, please, please click that like button. Share, subscribe, leave your comments. I read all the comments. All right, I love it. Also, too, the energies can be interchangeable. So if it isn't you, it could be the person that you're dealing with, Aries. All right? You guys, click the description box below. All my info is there if you want to reach out for a private reading. Jennifer Weaver 304 at gmail.com. All the information's there. Or you can just go straight to PayPal, book your reading. Put all of your information in the notes section. Use a family and friends, to you guys, to avoid additional fees. All right, other than that, I think that pretty much cuts it. So Aries, what's coming in? Universe Spirit, show me Aries in love. What's coming in for the Zodiac sign of Aries? I want a 10 card Celtic spread for beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 15th through November 30th. What messages does Aries need to know? These cards were heavily medita meditated upon Aries and shuffled, but we're gonna just do a couple more here. If you don't like it, just fast forward. Aries in love, universe spirit, show me Aries, November 15th through November 30th, 2018, messages for Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's cut it and chat about it, Aries. Here we go. I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot to clarify this bad bitch of a reading. All right, let's take a look. Bottom of the deck, Aries, we do have the Knight of Cups. Some of you are dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is that kind of knight in shining armor. It's somebody offering that cup. The Knight of Cups is always bringing a gift or an emotion, handing the cup out, wanting to receive, wanting to give, right? It's a knight, so it's still kind of in that mm, kind of young, I don't want to see player, but it's very romantic, dreamy, kind of knight in shining armor energy there, Aries, okay? Some of you, it is a water sign. All right, let mom here lay out this beautiful spread and see what the hell is going on, Aries. Woo! Woo, Aries, woohoo. Just kidding, that was really annoying. All right, let's see. What the hell Aries can expect for the next couple weeks in love. Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's take a big fat look. All right, so coming in. We have this Knight of Pentacles, Aries. Actually, give me one second because I also want to. All right, yeah, that makes sense. All right, coming in right now, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. If you're not dealing with an Earth sign, coming in right now, there's a very, very slow movement offer to do with your love life. The Knight of Pentacles will never offer that pentacle until they are 100% sure, right? It's very slow because the Knight of Pentacles wants to build for the future, wants to get to the King of Pentacles, which is about long-term commitment, stability, marriage, all that good shit. So Knight of Pentacles is going to really think about it before they move forward. It's very slow energy. What's challenging that Knight of Pentacles is the Seven of Wands. This is your energy, Leo Sag Aries. So you guys might be a little bit guarded. You might be blocking out love. That might be why this energy is so slow to move forward, cautious, careful, right? You guys are a little bit guarded, standing your ground, walking your own path, fighting for what you want, or you could be blocking someone. Remember, the energies could be interchangeable, all right? What's on your mind, Aries, is the sun. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Happiness, clarity, healing. It's the most positive card in the deck. It's feeling like a child again, okay? Everything's happening because of temperance. Major Arcana Sagittarius, you guys are balancing your emotions, getting everything in check, harmonizing, being patient, and also knowing that there's something in your love life that's all about divine timing, okay? We have two very patient energies here. Bringing in on your mind or crowning the whole entire reading is this beautiful sun energy, healing, happiness, clarity, positivity, okay? But either you or the other person, a little bit guarded here, okay? Might be blocking out a little bit because the recent past, Aries, you have the damn Ace of Cups. New love, possibly, or again, very healing. The Ace of Cups can be healing energy. Remember, the sun is on your mind too, which is healing. But the Ace of Cups can be new love, right? It can be brand new love. It can be a resurgent in an existing relationship, offering that cup of love, 
okay? There's a lot of healing energy going on here too, Aries, okay? Now coming in, you guys will experience the Eight of Swords. This is feeling trapped in your thoughts, okay? You can't get out of that mental prison. You're thinking about something a lot over and over and over again, kind of putting yourself in that mental prison. But the Eight of Swords is never permanent, right? It's temporary. You can step out of that cage. Just take off the blindfold, you know, and know, again, it's all about being patient, harmonizing your emotions. You see yourself right now as the death card, major arcana for Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, right? You guys are going through some type of big change in your life. The death major arcana is all about endings, new beginnings, transformation, shedding that old skin, and starting new in some aspect of your love life, okay? It could be new love for some of you guys, right? Especially with this Knight of Cups overall energy, a lot of water, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, somebody's come in to offer that cup. Now, external to you, so outside influences coming in is the Two of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, somebody's weighing up their options, trying to balance out a situation, could be career and finance, just juggling. Sometimes, you know, the Two of Pentacles doesn't always mean somebody's juggling people, okay? Somebody in your environment is trying to juggle finances, just a lot going on. We are getting into the holiday season, so just weighing up the options, but whatever it is, it's going to bring in some anxiety here, some mental kind of feeling trapped to something. For some of you, it will have to do with finances. For others of you, just making time for this relationship, okay, which I think for a good deal of you is new, with the Ace of Cups. Now, your hopes or fears, Aries, is the Seven of Cups. More water, more emotion, a lot of emotion in this reading. Your fear is, I think, maybe confusion, right? With the Seven of Cups, having some type of illusion, not really knowing how to make a decision here, too, being confused, because there just may be a lot going on. This reading is really indicative of like new love and just trying to balance everything out. That's what I'm getting here, and that's why coming in, we're being very cautious and slow and responsible, okay? You guys have some happiness here. Again, I think a lot of you, it is new love, kind of that knight in shining armor feeling here. Most likely, outcome shows the three of swords. Mm, I don't like that in an outcome. We're going to clarify and see what the hell that is. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This doesn't always have to be an ending. It doesn't have to be third party. Sometimes the three of swords can be disappointment or sadness. It's swords. And I think a lot of times, as tarot readers, we forget to mention the three of swords can be some type of disappointment through communication. It doesn't have to be an ending or heartbreak or third party, okay? It can be a fight through um, communication or disagreement of some sort. But we're going to clarify, Aries, and see what the hell is going on. All right, so again, I kind of get the sense that some of you are a little bit conflicted or in your head, feeling a little bit trapped about maybe a newer situation, and you're really wanting to take it slow, be very, very cautious. That's why this Seven of Wands is influencing <clears throat> that Knight of Pentacles. You guys have gone through some big transformation. You finally have things balanced with your emotions here, with temperance, but you also are trying to be patient, okay? Really in your head a lot, though, Aries, it looks like. All right, let's see what's going on. Universe Spirit, clarify this reading for the Zodiac Sign of Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs, November 15th through November 30th, 2018. What's coming in for Aries? What does Aries need to know in love, please? Clarify this bad bitch of a reading for Aries. I love you guys, too. I always like to tell you. I mean, I love everybody, but Aries, you guys are always so supportive and... I don't know. I just, I love it. Thank you very, very much. As always, thank you for all your support and guidance. I've just been overwhelmed with just happiness doing this, bringing these messages, you know. And over the last six months, my channel has just, I can't believe, you know, I only started six months ago and all the support and love, it's really grown. So I appreciate it. All right, enough about me, Aries. Let's get to you. All right, so let's cut this, Jack, and start clarifying and see what the hell is going on. For Aries in love, sun, moon, rising, Venus. My moon is in Aries, so maybe that's why I have a special place for you guys in my heart. All right, let's start with the overall energy. As the Knight of Cups could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, somebody offering that cup, right? Kind of that romantic, dreamy, knight in shining armor feel. 
Um, but you know, it's not, with the Knight of Cups, it's kind of the beginning. We have a couple Knights here. So again, we see this newer love in the recent past here. So let's see why. Why is the Knight of Cups the overall energy for Aries? What's this Knight of Cups? Why is the Knight of Cups here for Aries? And the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Some of you might be dealing with a younger water sign. See, that we have a difference in age here a little bit. We have a knight and then we have a queen. I'm just saying. But the Queen of Pentacles is all about the home, nurturance, very loving, very sexy, confident energy too. But the Queen of Pentacles is all about stability, being very grounded, really just can do it all. You know, she's a wife, she's wants a long-term commitment, but she's not gonna be overly emotional about it. So I think that a lot, for a lot of you, that probably is your energy, Aries. You guys are thinking about long-term commitment when it comes to your love life, but also being very stable and very grounded. You're being very cautious with this Queen of Pentacles. Has something to do with kind of this dreamy, maybe newer love relationship, okay? The recent past, you do have the Ace of Cups. For a lot of you guys, this is a new love situation. It can also be very healing energy. Um, why is the Ace of Cups in the recent past for Aries? What's this Ace of Cups? The Three of Pentacles. Some of you may work with this person. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is the beginning, right? For me, sometimes the Three of Pentacles can be a very social dating card, going out, socializing with somebody. But being on the same page really talking about working together, discussing, you know, how do we build for the future, wanting the same things, receiving your accolades, and, and again, collaborating and working together. For, so for some of you in the recent past, you had this newer love situation, and you guys are kind of on, in that like stepping stone, getting it off the ground, and really being on the same page. But coming in here, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. You guys are just being cautious, careful, slow with the energy. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here, please? Why is this Knight of Pentacles coming in for Aries? The Two of Pentacles. Again, a lot of you just have a lot going on, right, with the Two of Pentacles. You're trying to juggle. You're probably trying to juggle a lot going on, but you're being very patient. That's why it's all happening. You know, really trying to harmonize your emotions, be patient, Right, but with that Knight of Pentacles coming in right now, either you or the other person, just a lot going on. A lot of Virgo energy there, by the way. Um, <clears throat> trying to weigh up the options and just balance everything out, okay? The challenge or what's influencing that slow, kind of moving, responsible energy is the Seven of Wands. That's your energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. Why is the Seven of Wands here the challenge for Aries? Why is the Seven of Wands here for Aries? And the High Priestess, sign of Pisces. I think that you guys are really listening to your intuition about this newer love situation. Again, this will not resonate for everyone, okay? If it doesn't, it doesn't. Like, you know, move on and find somebody that it resonates with. This is the message that's coming out here today. It's probably a newer love situation, and you guys are really honing in on your intuition. I think with that Seven of Wands, it's all about being a little bit guarded, right? Defensive. You might have your walls up a little bit because uh, you're being very, very careful in, in a newer, probably love situation. Just cautious, right? On your mind is the sun, major arcana for Leo. Happiness, children, feeling like a child again, positivity and healing, optim optimism. Why is the sun on Aries' mind, please? Why is the sun here? The Three of Cups, happiness, going out, celebrating, having a good time, getting together with friends or getting together with this newer person that maybe you guys had that Ace of Cups with, that newer love. Very, very positive, fun, light energy on your mind with the sun and the Three of Cups. It's beautiful. The foundation, we have temperance here, sign of Sagittarius, harmonizing, being patient. I think for you guys, this is more about patience here. Uh, why is temperance here in the foundation for Aries? What's temperance all about? Show me temperance. Yeah, ten of pentacles because you guys are building. I said that earlier. The recent past, the three, we go from the three of pentacles to the ten of pentacles here in the foundation. Ten, completion. It's stability, right? It's long-term relationship, marriage, commitment, social, right? It's all about, you know, having that long-term commitment or relationship. It's a legacy, really, is what it's building towards, that's why everything's happening. And you guys are all about divine timing, right? Harmonizing and being patient. But you are being careful moving forward. 
trying to just weigh up all of your options, but you're having a good time. It's very happy, light energy with that sun energy. Coming in, though, for some reason, we have this Eight of Swords. Feeling trapped, just really in your head a lot. It could be just due to, you know, how do I balance everything going on, especially if it's a newer love. Why the Eight of Swords coming in for Aries? The Nine of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but again, more money, right? I just get the sense that you guys are trying to remain independent and single, get your money together, know your self-worth, you know, take care of yourself. You're okay on your own with that Nine of Pentacles. It's a very single, independent energy, but it's also knowing your worth and making sure that money's good, career's good, all of that good sense. So this energy is really showing me more of like a newer love, young, fun, energetic, but also too, just trying to balance everything. That's what's going on here. Okay. You see yourself as death right now. You guys are going through some big transformation. I don't really see this as an ending. Some of you have, may have gone through an ending in the past. I know Scorpio, but I think that there's just big changes going on in your life right now, Aries. Why is death? Why does Aries see themselves as death? Why is death here for Aries? Yeah, Six of Swords. You guys are moving on to calmer water. Some of you are literally moving or traveling. You guys are getting to a better place. You have some type of resolution because you're you're, you see yourselves as going through some type of big transformation here. And because of that, with the Six of Swords, you're actually moving to a more peaceful place in your love life. It's very awesome and very beautiful. I love death with Six of Swords. That's all about big changes, but they're changes for the better. It's great. So external. So external influences coming in right, in your environment is this two of pentacles. This is energy that comes in beyond your control, right? Two of pentacles. Why is the two of pentacles coming in external to Aries? What's this two of pentacles? King of swords. Some of you have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that you're dealing with, right? But this person is, is very truthful in the upright, all about communication, very good at communication as well, kind of cuts to the point, cuts to the chase, you know, there could be some kind of communication about how to balance out your situation, lay down some burdens here, could be with um, it, within the relationship, something to do with money and career. Give me another card on the King of Swords. Why is this King of Swords here? Why is this King of Swords here? King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, this could be you. They could have fire in their chart. It's action. It's moving forward, okay? Now, for others of you, what I'm seeing here is coming in, you're going to experience feeling very chained and bound, just can't get out of your thoughts here. So some of you may decide to remain single from this person with the Nine of Pentacles. Just focus on your self-worth, money, career, that kind of thing. Um, and because somebody's coming in here to weigh out their options, but sometimes with the King of Swords, it, it can, can be severance right it can be very kind of icy and emotionally detached um with the king of swords because there's just too much going on you guys have two kings here in your environment they could have fire or air in their chart but again that king of wands is just about moving forward and taking action could be you guys really because you are aries um why is the king of wands here in the environment though this is external to you nine of cups scorpio cancer pisces somebody's having some type of wish fulfillment here that Nine of Cups can be kind of smug energy, too. You know, I'm getting two kind of storylines here. Somebody in your environment probably is weighing up their options. They might be dating multiple people. Um, if, especially if this is somebody new that y'all are dating, just kind of make sure you know what's going on. Use your intuition, right? Uh, with the Nine of Cups, that can talk about dating, going out there, dating multiple people, drinking, that kind of thing. Um, especially with this King of Wands. King of Wands can be a little bit of a ladies' man, right? He's in the upright, though. He's truthful. So your hopes or fears here, Aries, is the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here in the hopes or fears for Aries? Why is the Seven of Cups here? And the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, particularly a Sagittarius. So I think that you guys are fearing that whomever you're newly dating or somebody that you're involved with might be a little bit of a player, with a lot of different options. That Knight of Wands is that player energy. They're in, they're out. They love to exit, but they never love to stay, okay? In night form, especially on top of that Seven of Cups. I think you guys are afraid that this person is gonna be kinda dating around a little bit. And because you guys want long-term for the majority of you with that Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here in the foundation. You guys are thinking about long-term. This person is kind of bringing that energy of a little bit of smug energy, 
all right? For some of you guys, you might just decide to become independent and single from this person because in the outcome, we do have the three of swords. Why is the three of swords here, please, in the outcome for Aries? What do we need to know about the three of swords? What's this three of swords for Aries? The six of pentacles. So Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is very generous energy though, right? But it could be that somebody's giving to somebody else and it, it, res it results in some type of severance here, some type of breakup or disappointment, right? With that six of pentacles. Let's see why. I'm I, Now, you know, clarifiers make a difference. Yeah, I'm changing the reading up, but you know what? That's how tarot works, okay? We, we lay out the cards and the story starts to tie together. That's how it works. So I just get the energy, Aries. You guys have met somebody in the recent past. You're out there dating. You're having fun, but you're weighing up your options. You might be trying to juggle a lot that's going on in your life. You guys, for the majority of you, want a long-term relationship, right? You've gone through an ending, some type of transformation, and you're moving on to calmer waters. But the overall energy is this night. It's like a knight in shining armor, kind of a dreamer, kind of like a romantic, but you have to be careful. Could be a little bit, bit of a player with that knight. With the queen of pentacles on top of that knight of cups, this is, I think, for a lot of you, your energy, wanting commitment, wanting marriage, wanting long term, right? But external to you is this person who might be just juggling, might be going out and dating several people with that two of pentacles. King of Swords and King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, and then, of course, Air Energy. The Nine of Cups, again, that can be dating. It can be going out and just kind of indulging and drink and food and that kind of thing. And I think you guys are sensing that because your fear is that this person has a lot of options and that, that, that they're a bit of a player. Three of Swords shows that maybe they are, you know? Why is the Six of Pentacles here in the outcome for Aries? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles? Y'all remember your challenge as the High Priestess. It's to use your intuition, okay? Why is the Six of Pentacles in the outcome for Aries? And the Four of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, energy, stability, right? This is happiness. This is celebration. This is opening the doors to new love, could be literally moving home as well okay so I think with that six of pentacles and the four of wands this could be about somebody deciding to be in a relationship like outside of you in other words you guys dating somebody and then maybe you know you find out that they're already in a relationship or something like that or you guys just decide here also what it's looking like is that you guys are surrounded by like some type of player and maybe you find out that they are giving to other people. You want long-term relationship here with the Four of Wands. Why the Four of Wands? What's Aries going to do with this Four of Wands, please? And the world, yeah. Like, for a lot of you, you'll just decide to end it. So I'm just getting, like, this isn't really long-term. This is, like, somebody that you guys are newly dating. You want long-term relationship. You might just come in and experience. You're feeling too trapped. You're feeling too much in your head about whoever this person is and their intentions. So you might just decide to remain single because they're bringing kind of that juggling energy. You guys are going through an ending or transformation, moving on to calmer waters, and you don't want to deal with players. You want long-term relationship, right? You see clearly, you've healed, you're having a good time with this person, but the most likely outcome shows, yeah, there's probably other energy, they're probably out there dating other people, you may not like it, that they're giving to other people, that has that player energy, right, the four of wands, because you guys want stability, you want commitment, you want long term, right, and so for a lot of you, you'll probably decide just to end it with that world energy, uh, no, thank you. I'm not looking to just date. Or for some of you, you know, you are, you start to date this person and then realize that you want a long-term relationship and they just kind of want to still play the field and have fun and go out and, and that kind of thing. So that's what I see coming in, Aries. You guys, I love you hard. Love me hard back. Hopefully this reading resonated. If not, well, better luck next time. Love you guys. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.